Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to set up Max Mega menu in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to set up the Max Mega menu in the WordPress, first we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for Max Mega menu. Alright, so as you can see here that we have Max Mega menu at the top of the search. So we have to install this. Alright, so now we have to click on the activate plugin. So now our plugin Max Mega Menu has been activated and you can also see Mega Menu in the sidebar as well. Okay. So now if I go back to my website and click on the visit site, you will be able to see that this is how our menu is looking. Okay. So now we're going to convert this into Max Mega Menu. Okay. So for that, we're going to go back and here first I have to click on the Mega Menu here. All right. So in the mix mega menu, you can see here that we have the four different options in the sidebar. So we have menu locations, we have menu themes, we have general settings and the tools. Okay. But right now we're going to only see the menu locations because we have to enable the primary menu here. So let's click on this. And here you can see this. We have the three options. We have the general settings. We have the advanced. We have the display options. So in the general settings, we have the option to enable our mega menu. So I'm going to check this. So this will basically enable mega menu for the primary menu. Okay. So after this, we have the event, we have the effect, we have the mobile effect, and then we have the theme. So in the event, I can simply select the event which can trigger the sub menus. So here you can see this, we have the hover intent, we have the hover and we have the click. So I'm going to keep the default value here. So let's click on save changes. All right. So after that, we have the option of the advanced. So I'm going to click on this. So in the advanced, we have the click event behavior. We have the mobile sub menu behavior, and you can also see the other options here. And in the last, we have the display options. So in the display options, we have these four options. So we have the block button merge. Uh, we have the PHP function, we have the short code and we have the widget. So right now we don't have to do anything here. All right. So now first we have to go inside into our appearance and click on the menus. And also I would go back to our website and click on the refresh. All right. So now you'll be able to see the change in our menu here. So this is basically the mega menu. So now we have to adjust this as per our requirement. Okay. So if I just hover over this, you can see that we have this shop by category and we also have this uh, collection. But right now I'm going to add one more menu item and then we will actually add or design our uh, mega menu into it. Okay. So let's just go back into the menus. So now I'm going to create the custom link here. So for that, let's click on the custom link and I would just add the hash here and let's just add it would be let's say products or something like this. So let's click on add to menu. Perfect. All right. So now what I need to do first, I would click on the save menu. Perfect. So now I will basically add this menu item in the mega menu. Okay. So whenever you install the mix mega menu, you would be also able to see this option. Okay. Mega menu on each of the menu items. So now let's click on the mega menu here. And here you will be able to see two options. We have the mega menu grid layout and the standard layout. So I would prefer to use here the grid layout. Okay. So in the grid layout, I would need to add the number of the columns that I want. So I'm going to add basically three number of columns. Okay. And let's just add one more column here and let's just increase the number here. And let's just add one more column and let's just increase the number. Okay. So basically you can add the 12 columns, but here you can see this each of our single column is occupying the space of the four columns. Okay. So if I just decrease the number, you can see this is how it would look, but I'm going to go here with the four. Okay. So let's just put this to the four. Perfect. So we are actually occupying all the space that we have. All right. So after in these columns, I'm going to add the widgets. Okay. So here in the widgets, you will be able to see the list of options. So we have the different list of the options here. So you can see this that we have the archives, we have the blog, we have the audio, we have the calendar, we have the card, we have the categories. And if you go down, you can see we have the gallery, image, meta, navigation menu, and you can also see the other options here. Okay. 
So right now I'm going to go here with the image and the image will be added here. So let's just do one thing here. I'm going to add two more images on each of these column. So let's just add one more image and let's just add one more. Perfect. And now let's just drag this and put this into the second one and this one into the third column. Now I would just click on this icon in the image and here I would add the image. Okay, so probably I would go here with this one. Let's just click on add to widget. Perfect. So if you want to add the title, you can do that, but I'm going to skip the title. And after this, what you need to do, you can also add the link if you want to, but I just want to add the image here. So let's click on the save. All right. So now I would also need to add the image on the other two options. So let's just add these images from here. So this would be this one. Click on add to widget. Click on save. Let's just click on the last one. Click on add image. And let's just go here with may maybe this one again. So let's click on add to widget. Click on save. All right. So now if I just close this. And now we're going to add more options into it. So now I'm going to add the product list here that we have here. So let's just add the product list. This will be in the first column. And in the product list, we would have the option to select the number of the products that I want to show. So I basically want to show, let's say, four products. And also that we have the all products. You can see we can select the featured products. We can see the we can select the own products. And after this, we have the order by if you want to order by the price, if you want to order by random sales or the date, you can simply select the value from here. And in the last, we have the order. So if you want to have the things in the descending order or in the ascending order. And after this, we have the two options, hide free products and show hidden products. OK, so I'm going to keep these values like this. So now let's click on save. Perfect. So now what I want to add here. I would basically want to add the card here, okay? But on the second column. And here I would just simply click on the settings. So in the settings, we only have the title. And you can also select that if the card is empty, you can hide this option. So I will simply check this and click on save. Perfect. So now let's click on select widget again. And in the last one, probably I would go here with. Let's say I want to go here with, I can also go here with the text and the video and the form, but I'm going to go here with the search. Okay. So let's just add the search and it will be in my last column. So let's click on the setting here and you can see we only have the option uh, to search. Okay. So let me just write down search the products. So let's click on save. All right. So now let's close this and we have to save menu here. Perfect. So now what we have to do, we have to go into our website again and refresh the page. And now you'll be able to see the products menu item here. So let's move our cursor over this and you'll be able to see that we have our images here. And after this, we have our products and now we will also have our card items here, but it is still loading. And after this, we have searched the product. So you can simply search the product here. And now you can see here, we also have our card here. OK, but right now I would need to do one thing here to, that would be probably to change the color of our menu. And also the second thing is that to add some words to our mega menu. OK, so now let's go back into our menus here and click on the mega menu again. Now I would basically click on the menu themes. All right. So in the menu themes, you can see here we have a bunch of different options. OK. So we have the menu bar, we have the mega menus, we have the flyout menus, we have the mobile menu, and then we have the custom styling. So in the journal settings, we have the theme title, we have the arrows, and then we have the line height. So if you want to change the values from here, you can do this. Okay. After that, we have the Z index, we have the shadow, we have the keyboard highlight outline, and you can also see that we have the hover, transition, and reset widget styling. Okay. So I'm going to simply go inside the mega menus. So in the mega menus, we have the panel background. So if you want to change the panel background color, you can do this. If you want to change the panel width. So for now, we want to change the panel width. So I'm going to go here with maybe 800 PX. 
on the outer width and also on the inner width. All right. And after this, we have the panel padding. So if you want to add the padding to your panel, you can do this from here. And after this, we have the panel border. We have the border radius. We have the column padding. And after this, we have the ridges. And in the ridges, we have the title font in which you can simply change the color, size, family. And you can also see the other options here. All right. And after this, we have the second level menus item. So in the second level menus item, we have the item font. We have the item font on the hover effect. And then we have the background. And then we have basically the item pairing. And then you can see that we have the margin and the border. And we have the same kind of the option for the third level menu items. Okay, so now we have to do one thing. We have to change the color of our menu. Okay, so I think it would happen from the menu bar. Yeah. So from here, what we have to do, so we basically have to click on the color here. So I'm going to go here with the white color and also here on the white color. So now let's click on save changes. And now let's just go into our website. Let's just refresh the page. And now you will be able to see that we have removed the background color, but obviously we have to change the text color. So let's go back and hear what actually we have to do. So on the item font, this would be the black color. Perfect. So now let's click on save changes again. Let's just go back, refresh the page. And now you'll be able to see our menu options here. Okay. So if I just hover over this, you can see this. We are having our images. We are having our products. We are having our cart search the product and also the images. Okay. So this is how you can create the mega menu in the WordPress. Obviously, you can also add the other options if you wanted to. So if you wanted to add, let's say the video, you can also do that. But basically, that depends on how you want to design your mega menu. OK, so this is all for this video. If you really find this useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.